Welcome to Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn how to record payments and receipts in Tally Prime. This is similar to how we recorded purchases and sales in our previous session. The only difference is that the fields required to be filled will be related to payments and receipts. Let's start. Press V for vouchers. Press F5 for payment. Press F2 to set the date. I want to set the date to 5th April. You will notice that automatically Tally changes the date to 5th April assuming that since our last transaction was on 4th April, we will want to change the date to the next date. Let us record a payment made for the rent. Since this is a payment, Tally first asks for the ledger from which the payment is made. This can be either the cash or the bank ledger. Press spacebar and you will see the list of cash or bank ledgers you've created. Select the ledger. I'm selecting the bank ledger. Now, let's select the ledger to which the payment is made. Press spacebar to see the list of ledgers and select the ledger. I'll select the rent ledger. Enter the amount. Press enter until you get this bank allocation screen. Here, you can enter the method by which you're making the payment check, transfer or others. Depending on the method of payment, you can enter the check number or UTR number if required. This will be useful if you use our banking features like check printing, check management and bank reconciliation. Enter the narration if required. While recording a payment or receipt transactions, you get various options in the side menu. You can use Autofill to record the statutory payments such as GST, TDS remittance, etc. Similarly, in case the payment received is a post-dated check, you can mark the voucher as post-dated by pressing Ctrl L. Accept the voucher. Let us now record a receipt voucher. Press F6 for receipt. Since this is a receipt, Tally first asks for the ledger in which money is received. This can be either the cash or bank ledger. I'm selecting the bank ledger. Now, select the ledger from which the money is being received. It can be your customer's ledger or income ledger. For me, it's interest. So, I'll select the interest ledger. Enter the amount. Select the method by which the money is received and the instrument details. Enter the narration if required. Accept the voucher. Similarly, you can record all your business transactions in Tally Prime. There's no need to get confused by which ledger to debit or credit. Just select the type of transaction and enter the details required. Your debits and credits are taken care of while your accounts and reports are updated instantly. Anytime you want to change to double entry mode, press Ctrl plus H for change mode and select double entry. Using this, you can easily toggle between single entry to double entry and vice versa. If you want to see the list of transactions you've recorded in a day, press Alt plus G for go to and type daily and select daily entries. In another way, from to gateway of tally, press D for display more reports. Press D for day book. A quick recap of things we learned in this session. Recording Payment and Receipt Voucher Change Mode from Single Entry to Double Entry Mode and vice versa Viewing Day-to-Day -day Transactions from Daybook